Well, welcome to the first ever episode of the podcast here for Ticket for Two. So we wanted to start off by basically talking a little bit about us. Yep. Overall, I'm Brett. I'm Ada. Okay, so that's easy right there. If you <laughs> if you're a first time uh, listener to our podcast here, this is something that we feel very strongly about wanting to share with you. We've uh, experienced a lot of heartache and uh, different types of emotions. We're not professionals. We're not professionals at all. None of us have a medical degree. None of us, you know, we might not even get the terminology right, but we want to share our experiences with you because just like you, we didn't know. Yeah, and just in hopes to be a support, even though it's through a podcast, but to be a support for another couple or couples you know or single yeah anybody that's going out out there that is struggling like we did just to help them maybe even guide them in the right direction of where to go to get the answers yeah that we didn't have for right. years so. years yeah and and you know we're again not just professionals involving the medical field we're not professional podcasters either so yeah we're going to hear some you're going to hear some noises, you know, we're, we're, we're just basically doing this in what we think is the right surrounding that we're comfortable in. Uh, the first episode is basically about us, so uh, who, we who we are, exactly. And um, if you aren't familiar with us in general, we are Ticket for Two. We, we do a lot of, of vlogging for fun, mainly at Universal and other theme parks. We also do food vlogs. Uh, we do um, anything that a couple would basically want to adventure to to do. Just that, that ad adventure experience. Yeah. Uh, we also have an Instagram that I know you run and yeah. then uh, also TikTok, TikTok. right? Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we also have, uh, we're slowly trying to get apparel going, but, you know, we're not trying to be millionaires or anything else this is just fun this is like a hobby yeah. really uh but you know we wanted to start this podcast to basically you know uh share with you, uh everything of our journey our story so uh how we met so we, we always joke with friends about this that we always say that uh we were the original uh couple OG. the og <laughs> of uh people that met online because before there was online dating yeah, we actually met on, for any of those individuals that remember... Napster. Napster. It yeah. was Napster, yeah. So uh, back in the day, we, uh, like many in the 90s, mm -hmm. we we partake in some of the stuff that Napster offered. Um, we aren't proud of it now as we're older, but the thing that we are most proud and grateful for was that they had chat rooms. And uh, this is how this relationship started as... We were downloading. Uh, we got into a chat room and just waited, just like anyone else that was doing, well, waiting for the music to happen. And then a chat happened. And then from there, we what? Uh, we wrote letters to each other. Yeah, we wrote letters. We did, I mean, I did phone cards. Phone cards. I didn't want to pay for long distance. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I love you, but long distance is expensive. Like, who deals with that anymore? And, it, and that's the um, other thing, too. We, we were. Yeah. One was East Coast, the other one was the uh, Midwest. Yeah. So that yeah. was that was other things. So not only miles apart from each other. Yeah. So I mean, long distance Ooh. and also internet. Yeah. And I mean, I mean, dial up internet. AOL chat is what we did too. Yeah. <laughs> we did that. Yeah, we did, and it was um, man, what was it? Towards the end of my junior year mm -hmm. is, or no, beginning, like a few months into my oh, junior yeah. year was when we met. And then um, just hung out and, well, not hung out, but. Hung out, <laughs> right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, then, sure. Just chatted through uh -huh. Napster and phone cards and letters and emailing pictures. That's right. You That's know, right. Because we never so really we had the face. Phones. No, no yeah. phones. We didn't, yeah. we didn't have text messages. Like, yeah. well, we had text messages, but it was just simple text AOL messages. Stuff, yeah. That was it. Nothing else major. Yeah, it was yeah. AOL. And, and I do remember asking for a photo at time and. You weren't the greatest at a computer, so everything was like like pixelated. So no, I'm like, because my brother created my account. Oh, that's right. That's the of this whole relationship was <laughs> my name on, on oh, Napster. That's right. Yeah. You know, my Jabba Webb and Ding Dong. Jabba Webb and Ding Dong. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, and then I think uh, that summer, 
my junior after my junior year, you came out. Mm -hmm. So we met in person for the first time. Yeah. And then uh, just went from there, like you know, building that relationship long distance through communication and trust. Communication is a big yeah. part of our relationship. Trust, you know, that the, both of those things are huge. Mm -hmm. And then um, I moved out to your place. And then we went back to my hometown or mm -hmm. state. Mm -hmm. And then um, we stayed there for quite a while. Yeah. And um, this coming week will actually be 14 years nearly. As we are recording this, it is September 22nd, and there is a uh, Later on this week, we are celebrating our anniversary. So actually, it's kind of kind of cool that we're starting this podcast, basically talking about yeah. our adventure, literally on the week of our anniversary. So that's pretty cool. So yeah. we ended up back at my home state, uh -huh. and then we made the decision to come south. Yeah, with no family or. Yeah. Even friends. Well, we had one friend down here, but yeah, still. Um, for the most part, like we just up and left for for you to go to college. Yeah, we just up and left, and you know, want a motivation to to basically you know work towards getting a degree in a in a field that I'm loving consistently. But yeah, we we had no family really down here, and then we due to uns foreseen circumstances of being laid off. Um, uh, we moved back up north to my home state again. Uh, tried that for a couple of years. And um, in that time span, that's when we really started diving into the whole IBF stuff. And then... Um, yeah, I mean, we experienced a little bit when we first moved down here to mm -hmm. the south. And that was when we had that one. And we won't mention any any doctor's name no. or anything. We're not going to mention no. because you know, it's not who we are. Um, but I will just say, like, our first one was not a very nice doctor. Yeah. Or nobody just told us, here, here's 10 vitamins for you and 10 for you and come back in a year. Yeah. And then we remember we went to another specialist. Yeah. And Which all this stuff we will be touching base in, 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 yeah, in bigger is, detail. This, this is just like really a brief yeah. kind of deal. Yeah. And so, and so then the second doctor that we went to down here, Pretty much laughed in our face. <laughs> he was like a super old doctor. Uh -huh. and he literally just laughed in our face. Um, and then when they told me the prices and stuff, I wanted to laugh in his face. Yeah, it's true. It's totally true. And, and you know, the, the, the funny thing is, and I'll, just to stop real quick on this, and this is probably something that we're going to consistently say throughout all these episodes here, is that. You might be listening to this, and then, and you might be thinking, "Well, they sound like they're laughing about it. They're they're they don't sound like any hard feelings, ill will, nothing like that. Like I would expect them to be." And that's our story. That's that's the one thing that when we tell people this, and this is the really another part of the motivation of doing this podcast, is that we look at this to say. Hey, we have been through all this type of struggle, and we are thankful for it. I mean, we're very spiritually driven, so we know that everything happens for a reason, and that's the plan that God has for all of us. And honestly, if we didn't have this, we wouldn't be doing this. We wouldn't be literally on the journey that we are dealing with. Right, and I think that, you know, there's there's a reason why you go through the struggles and stuff. And it's not only does it build up your trust and your faith and your relationship with each other and with human number one, which is God. If people don't have these experiences, then we don't have people to lean on if we experience something. And knowing that what somebody else has gone through can help you is huge, mm -hmm. you know, and... I think I just more look at it as this is our story, this is our journey, but who can we help? Just get it out there because it's not everything that we'll talk about. Obviously, we'll go into more depth later and stuff, but it's not talked about like it should be. Oh, yeah. And it's like people just hide behind it. And I felt like that for a long time too. Like I couldn't come out and talk to it and then I didn't know people. But then as I really started going, through or we really started going through the stuff it was like i would learn that this person was and i'm like oh 
and yeah. this one, oh, you know, and it was just like having people to talk to about it and even writing about it just was so helpful, mm-hmm. you know, and so when we laugh or you can tell that we're laughing through our like the way that we're talking or smiling or whatever, it's not that, that there was nothing joyous <laughs> about any of it that we went through. Yeah. You know, the struggling part, I should say. Yeah. But it has made us who we are, and it has made us a stronger couple, and it has made our relationship with God stronger. Yeah. And you just know that whatever you're going through, that there's, if you just keep faith and trust, which is so hard. It is. You know, and then even with people saying, oh, just quit trying. You know, or go out and have a fun time in the bar and then go home. Yeah, it's like, yeah. oh, then you'll get pregnant. Yeah. And it's like, oh, maybe we should do that. Yeah. It's like, Wait, no, that's not us. No, that you know, like, there's just so much and there's advice that's good and advice that is hurtful. Yeah. And, you know, and you, but, I, want to, I want to touch base. You, you did say that you hide behind. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the times, you know, looking at it from my eyes, not your eyes. I didn't feel it was a hiding. It was just more, as you also touched base about it, an unknown. Right. That the fact that there was so much information and being pre-diagnosed with this or pre-diagnosed with that right. or being being told this is what you have and you're stuck with it and right. I feel and not knowing all this stuff and it's just like, uh, oh, but then you come to realization and you really dive in and, and you did a lot of the research i mean to be honest you did a lot of the research to figure this out because number one you wanted to know about your body mm-hmm. you wanted to know and it wasn't like oh i can't have kids i'm no good no that never if that came across in your thought process or in your heart i apologize for that but in but instead you, it was the fact that you you were so invested not just to become a mom not just to become pregnant but also to to understand what who you are what you have and that's that's a key thing and that 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 that's the reason why it isn't talked about and it, it's not out there i and i really just like i i know you're, you're going to say this many times too we encourage anyone that has whatever they're dealing with pre- preventing to get pregnant to really dive in and research and whoever yeah. does have it get it out there right. make it known don't hide you're not alone you're not the only one like you might have thought that before but you aren't the only one that you that if there's more information about this there can be something done for this right and you just really have to strongly advocate for yourself yes you know if you're told this is this is what it is and there's nothing that can be done really really look get second third and fourth fourth opinions if you have to um because that's kind of i don't know i don't know that i want to say regret but like kind of one of the things that i wish i would have done more on yeah you know because i mean yeah we had gone to a third doctor which we'll touch on that later but i wish that i would have kind of asked more yeah on that you know um but we'll get into all of that a little bit later. Yeah. Um, but right. just a little bit more on us too, though, here um, for this first episode. Mm-hmm. Um, so why we started Take It For Two. So you know from the beginning of this episode that uh, we said that it's Take It For Two, that we decided to start a blog. And it's really just, like you said earlier, it's for fun. So that when we go to the state fair, or we go to the strawberry festival, or we go try a bougie restaurant at Disney, mm-hmm. or, you know, it's those fun experiences that, you know, just from us watching other vloggers on YouTube and that, that it's just something that's fun for us to do. Yeah. To share our experiences with you guys yeah. on what we thought of it. But again, like, we're not it's not everybody's opinion about something isn't going to be the same that's right and everybody and which we're all humans we all make mistakes we all have rough days and everything so 
you could go to a restaurant and have the worst experience ever where we could go to a restaurant and have the most fantastic experience. Yeah. You know, but it's just more of what is there to do that maybe others don't know about. True. That's really what this is all, you know, the whole ticket for two thing came about um, was just to do that. Yeah, we you know, and it's fun when we go to the parks now. Like, yeah, yeah. we love going to Universal. Oh, yeah. That's our number one park. Oh, yeah, and, and I mean, we, like, no disrespect to any of the other vloggers out there, you know, yeah. the Tim Tracker, uh, Mr. Cheesy Pop. Um, Paging Mr. Morrow. Paging Mr. Morrow, yes. They're all fantastic. They, they all are. do a great job. They are. But see, you know, they, they get, you know, they have the honor and privilege of having the top tier or something mm -hmm. where people that are watching like ourselves we don't invest that much into it so you know the prices of going to a theme park for one person is vastly different from two and vastly different from a family of four mm -hmm. and so on and so forth the thing is what we saw in them it was it was kind of an inspiration but at the same time it, it was half informative, but also, oh, I can do this and do that and, and make it make this possibility happen, you know? Well, what about the take of people that don't spend the money for the Fast Pass? Don't get the uh, invite to go to be on the media of, uh, of a debut uh, of something or, you know, uh, get to experience the extreme, plat you know, top line kind of thing. That's the everyday person. That's the person that, you know, who does go to the parks, who does go on these adventures, these travels, and these that's trips. Where they started. That's you right. Know. They did. They did. But at the same time, it's, it, again, no disrespect, but it's like, I would lie if I said, oh, I wouldn't, I don't envy them. Because, it, yeah, it would be something that would be really cool to do. But at the same time, I wouldn't do it all the time because that's not how we started, that's not how we are. We're not trying to boast, oh, we can go to this consistently and do it. No, we we work for a living. We, you know, we... It's just we, something fun to yeah. do whenever we do go to the park or, you know, go to the state fair, the strawberry festival, a, a food truck rally. Say that there's a food yeah. truck rally. Like, that's something. There's even a market close by us, the mm -hmm. Saturday market that I want to go and record that sometimes. Yeah. It's just, we're not looking to do this as a living this is more of this is what's out there to do in this area this is what's out there in this area um and to bring awareness of what we've been through in life yeah. what we've struggled with yeah and so that's that's really like what we want to do here yeah. is you know just to connect with people and we help one person my heart will be so happy yeah i mean you know, i mean, want to help many people yeah, and that's what we want to do for this podcast here. And I mean, it, you know, again, it, it's the cool thing is if, if you're first time listening to this and you don't know Ticket for Two or anything, check out our videos. I mean, all our videos are going to be of, of vlogs of, you know, going to this place, going to that place. Just like recently, we went to Halloween Horror Nights and had a good time there. And if you'd like to, like to check that out for sure. We appreciate you doing that. You know, subscribe, do the normal yada, yada, yada stuff. But the other thing that we, our biggest thing is besides stuff involving the two of us is we always wanted to have a big fan. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I always joked with Amanda, you know, when we first started dating, I was like, I want six kids. And she would always go, whoa. Well, do you know what that takes to do six kids? I mean, come on. I can so start pushing them out, maybe. <laughs> right. I think I said that quite a few times too. Right, exactly. But I mean that is a big family. We I grew up back in the day of always going to grandma's house and having, you know, Sunday dinners and just having the aunts and uncles and all the kids there. The two it was like Thanksgiving every Sunday. Mm -hmm. And that's a that's that doesn't exist anymore. That that is a dying thing, and I wish that would uh, you know bust through the, the gates and happen more. Because yeah. one thing that we are big believers about is family and the precious time that we do have on this earth, and how we should spend it with family, uh, even if it's a simple phone call, even if it's a, a, um, a video chat. 
or if it is in person. Family is everything to us, and we we wanted and we still do want to have a big family regardless. And yeah. uh, we we tried, you know, of course, the normal godly way of having children, and then we went into IVF, and then we um, realized going forward we because of what we feel that the doors closes close on both of them. It opened the third door, which is adoption. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's, it's something that we always wanted to do regardless too. Yeah, and uh, the appreciation of adoption. So like what we've been through in the past involving IVF and the, the heartaches, the struggle, the the understanding, mm -hmm. you know, when you talk about adoption, that's that's a whole different ball game right there. And that's even that's even more so of uh, of you know how did you guys do it? How, how can you go? It's just like going through IUIs and IVF, mm. you know, to a, to a point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, but still, it's just the up and downs, the roller coasters. The vulnerability. Uh, yes. The putting yourself out there. Yes. You know, and then. It's like you're dating again. Yeah. It's like you're dating. It's what yeah. it is. Um. And which, and we'll go into more of that detail later too about that feeling. But um, you know, you got to think like just as much as you're feeling uncomfortable, the kids that you meet are just as uncomfortable. Yeah. You know, because you're just meeting these random people, and you're like, who's gonna be my mom and dad, or who's gonna be my child? You know, and it's just, yeah, just the whole process, and it can be long. And that's there. not to scare somebody no. away. You just have to keep putting the time and keep putting the work into it and not give up regardless of how much you want to because it's, oh, we need this. Oh, now we need this. Oh, now we need this. And you're like, why couldn't you just told me everything at once? You know, and it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. And it's, it takes a village to get you through it. It does. It does. It, it totally does take a village. I mean, and, you know, the struggles of getting pregnant, you know, since we went through the multiple ringers, we looked at adoption, and even though adoption is completely different, there's multiple ringers in that involving that, too. Yeah. So we were like, if we could do that, who says we can't do this? Mm -hmm. And yeah, we're, we're definitely going to touch base on all that as well. Uh, lastly, uh, we, we want to kind of like, as I said, we're trying to basically do this episode about, you know, getting to understand us for this podcast. So um, do, during the time of the uh, IVF, uh, we actually were thinking about uh, something different prior to Kick It For Two. And that was, uh, we were thinking about doing a podcast called Pray, love family, and, and not just a not just a podcast, but a, a website. A website, yeah. A website Which where you would all journal of our stories. Yeah, yeah. It's more of a journaling website. Yeah, um, with a photo, and then um, just like that day's journal of events that happened. Yeah, which which we 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 started, but then you know, at the same time, it was too much for us because we needed to focus on each other. So this is kind of a little bit involving that as well. So if you were uh, ever familiar with Pray Love Family website and the journaling with it, I, I don't know if it still exists have, anymore no, or what. The website what, but, doesn't exist, but I do still have the Instagram active. Oh, okay. So I used to post on there as well to check out the new posts and stuff. Yeah. Um, so I do still have that, and I do still go on there every once in a while. Yeah. Um, but but it, just, it was just a lot at the time because we didn't know was. how overwhelming. Well, and not everything. only that, but I think it was just, you know, it was a good way for us to try to keep things out there of what we were going through. But that struggle just got hard, like yeah. real hard yeah. during the whole thing. And there were so many downs mm -hmm. during that. Um, you know, and also in the middle of it, I lost my grandpa, yeah. you know, and and so it was just, we needed to back down to focus on us and... We needed a center ourselves. Yes, we did have, we needed the, 
ground our feet exactly. in the sand. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. True. Um, true. But but yeah, and and I think too we weren't ready as we are now to yeah. put all of this out there. Agreed. Um. So I think, but that's the thing too. Like when you have all this, like you need to be ready because there can be obviously a lot of positive that comes out of telling your story and sharing what you went through. There can also be the negative. And I think because I was already so down at that point, even though I was trusting in God and believing in what he had planned for us, I still felt like a lot of it, like I, I wasn't ready to fully just be that vulnerable and open at the moment because oh, yeah. I don't think that I could have taken negativity well yeah, you well, know well, not that i want negativity now either but true but with you being also vulnerable and open that allowed not just you know as you said it allowed it allowed darkness mm -hmm. to get involved mm -hmm. because you're so open and you're so vulnerable that you know the simplest negative content or even we'll just go where it at the devil when he's he's ready for that he's yeah. he's licking his chops yeah. for something like that to happen so i mean to when when we say we were tested we were tested in all different directions all, all different, different directions like, <laughs> yeah and i again i just really hope that like any part of this you know, not just the journey of the infertility and stuff, but, you know, the whole process just really, like, speaks to and helps somebody. Yeah. And I you mean, know, yeah, you go. I've always, always wanted to share our story. Yes. We got to do a little snippet yeah. on the news channel. That's right. Yes, we, we, go, we go. did make a, an interview segment, too. Yeah. But, I mean, again, as you said, and that, that's a good way of kind of wrapping this, this first episode up. It's like, uh, we we encourage you guys and gals and especially gals to open up and take that first step and it's a big step to do. It is. It's a big step. Just real quick, and then because I don't sure. want to wrap this first one up. Sure, go with it. Yeah. About us, get to know us. Get yeah. a little snippet here. No, go for it. Floor sure, it's okay. I think when we hide back or we hold back what we're going through that's when you allow the darkness to settle in yeah because you're not reaching out and you're not getting you know finding the people that can help you or talk to you because they've been there they've done that but when you and i wish that i would have realized this back then you know of how much i really needed somebody to talk to during everything but when you hold it back and hide it back he gets excited because he's He's winning because yeah. he can see the darkness mm -hmm. and the fear and all that stuff in you. But when you just lay it at the feet of God and you, you bring it out and you're talking about it and there's those people that find you that come into your life for a reason that can help you through that struggle, he's not winning. Yeah. You know, and that, that to me is huge because he's probably going to beat us down while we're starting this podcast. Because he doesn't want this all out there. I, I think but he, this is how you get past that. Because then somebody may find your story and you could help them. Or maybe they've been through what you've been through and they can help you. Yes. You know, it could be a complete stranger at the grocery store and something just clicks and they hear your voice and they're like, hey, don't you do this podcast? Yeah. And I think I've heard your voice. Could you do this? And you're struggling with this. I've been there. I've done that. Yeah. You know, and or even I'm struggling. Can you help me? Like your story has helped me through so much. Like there's just well, you've so you've, you've, of this you've that, met so many people that you mm -hmm. weren't aware of, but it took you to talk about it mm -hmm. for then three to four people come up to you yeah. and say, "I'm struggling with that. I always thought about this, and it's just I like have people on on." Um, and, fam and my family, like distant family, like it would be like great aunt or second aunt or something like that. But like, I know some people now in my own family that are distant family that struggle and I never knew it, mm. you know? So then it's just like, 
wow, like I never even knew that person went through this. Like, you know. So that makes you think, is it hereditary? Right. Yeah. Right. Then you then you question all this stuff, and yeah. maybe maybe that person could have helped me out through the process, or maybe this one, and yeah, you know, like there's there's just so much, it's, and yeah. I just hope that. My biggest prayer, I should say, I should say, oh, I do hope too, but my biggest prayer on this whole thing is that we at least reach one person. That That's even nice. if they reach out to us and say, hey, I just need some prayers. Yeah. You know, or, yeah. And that's what we're here for. Like, if you need prayer because you're in the middle of IVF and it's your fifth round and, and nothing's working and you don't know the answers and you just want prayer, like, we will be praying for you. Or, oh, absolutely. You know, you're like, hey, what doctor did you go to during this this journey of it? I would give you the doctor's name, you mm -hmm. know, because I, I would love to share any of that stuff. And, oh, well, who found this diagnosis? It was this one. Go to that doctor, yeah. you know. like, mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, we, we'll do our best. And as I said, we're not professionals on no, it, but we, we're, we're here, here to share. This is just we're a personal here. experience. Yeah, we're, we're here to share. We're here to support. Uh, but we're we're definitely here to start the the talk yeah. to start the step mm -hmm. of what's been on our heart from God to yeah. share our story. Yeah, I mean it's, this this is this is a big deal for us. We've had multiple conversations about this. We've we've delayed it. We've had the devil knock us down a couple times with it, and and uh, we. We're ready. We're ready to, to, to be out there. And if you are, you know, again, as Amanda said, requesting any prayers, you can leave that, of course, in the comments below. If there are particular things that you want to, uh, us to share about, you know, uh, we will do our best to answer it as, as best as we can and how we experience this stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah it's kind of private, private message us on Instagram too. Yeah. Like if you want to put a prayer request, but you don't want others to see it. Like, yeah, absolutely. Reach out to us on our Instagram if you want to. Just mention anything. So, um, yeah, so that with that, it's going to wrap up our first episode. And we, we hope you uh, uh, stick around for more episodes for sure as we experience our journey with you. And um, if you, uh, I'm going to give you a normal spiel now. If you like what you're hearing, definitely hit that like button. If you want to continue to follow along with us, uh, check us out on uh, Instagram, and we can do some posts about that, as well as hit the subscribe button so you can be notified of all the information. And we, we hope you like this first episode, and we look forward to be sharing more of our experiences with you uh, in the upcoming episodes of this podcast. So thanks so much for tuning in.